the notion that communication is the key, but sometimes having a heart-to-heart -heart with yourself can be the toughest talk to have. Ooh, According to an article on <laughs> Forbes.com, people should periodically ask themselves questions that may feel uncomfortable at first, but can ultimately lead to growth. Now, one example um, that you could ask yourself is, what is it about me that causes people to react in the way that they do? Ooh. Brutal questions like this can lead to real breakthroughs. So ladies, what's the most difficult conversation you've ever had with yourself? Ooh. Ooh, I would say for me is when I got to LA and you know I would audition and I wouldn't get the jobs right away. <sighs> and that really hurt my feelings and I took it personally and I didn't understand and I went to you know acting school and did all the things you're supposed to do. Um, and so one day I had a hard to hard conversation for me. Uh, the ocean brings me peace. So I drove to the beach and I sat there and I thought, what do I want to do? Is this really what I want to do? And not only did I pose the question to myself, I then posed the question to God and said, God, is this what am I'm supposed to do? Because I'm finding it hard to find my way, you know? And a lot of times people didn't think a model could walk and talk at the same time. So mm, yeah. it was really difficult to, you know, start booking jobs and getting casting directors to believe in your work. So I really sat there and said, if it's not for me, let me know. And I think you can use that in whatever you do, yeah. right? And what it, what it came down to for me is that I love it. I love it, and if it's my passion, I have to push through. So I think no matter what you want to do, if the passion is there and you believe that you really want to do it, then you got to keep going. Yeah. And rejections are part of life. That is. That, that is. is so yeah. good. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, yeah, that is so good. I hope that inspires somebody right now that might too. be questioning, like, what is my purpose? Am yeah. I in the, doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Um, for me... One of the hardest conversations I think I had to have was when I was in a relationship with someone I loved and they didn't love me back. Ooh. And oh. I think that's a really hard, Ooh. honest of a conversation to have with yourself when you keep forcing something and pushing something and trying to make something happen. It was like fetch, okay? Fetch is not happening in Mean Girls. I right. was trying to force this person was to love Was it that he didn't me. love you or he didn't love you the way you wanted to be loved? Mm. If I'm honest, there were moments when I felt like he didn't even like me. Ooh. Oh. So it was really hard when you love this person, when you feel like you've done everything to kind of fit into their world, yeah. to be what you think they want, yep. to act, walk into... You're doing all these things to change yourself, hoping that this person will love you, and then you come to that realization, you just look at yourself in the mirror one day, and you're like... I have to love myself more than I love him. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that was really hard. Like that hands down was one of the hardest conversations I had to have with myself when I had to realize that um, that I deserved that's to right. be loved. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, I think the question that I had to ask myself is why do some people not like me? Mm. Would you? Uh, I want to do this. I, I'm. Whew, okay. I'm here with you. Yeah, let's work. You through know it. that we've let's all gone it. through that, especially yeah. being on a show like this where you put your whole life out there yeah, and your, your opinions. opinions, your thoughts. Yeah. The stupid things you've done, the stupid things you think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the breakthrough, because it's like you start and you go, what is it? And so then you go through, okay, well, maybe it's my look. Mm -mm. Um, maybe it's what I say. And then the thing that I started to realize through mindfulness and meditation is that everybody's just not going to dig you. And that's okay. And that's okay. But you still can live a good life. Yeah. And you have to learn to take the rejections, yeah. to take the criticism, yeah. and understand yeah. that you're okay. You're not everybody's cup of tea. No. It's okay. Some people like, you know, um, chamomile. Some people like green tea. Yeah. Sometimes they mix it. Right. But I, it took me a long time to understand that. Sure. And But the, the mistake that I was making was that I was trying to be... What you thought they wanted. Exactly. Oh. And yeah. that, yeah. oh, there's That's nothing tough. harder That's, than that. That is tough. That's a big lesson. Because sadly, 
You never can be. No. You can ne and that's you, the no. breakthrough. You never. Yeah. You find out you can never, you never, no matter what you do, yeah. you could be 110 pounds, you could be light-skinned with long hair. You, doesn't you, matter. You, it, it don't matter. Yeah. Yeah. You could be loud, matter. you could be you quiet. Could, you could right. be quiet, you could, yeah. be, you could be this, you could be yeah. that. People are gonna find something wrong. So, do you wanna go through life always trying to change no. for somebody else? No. And I'm like, no. And so I have to, I've learned to accept who I am. Mm -hmm. And I know who I am. Mm -hmm. I, I like who I am. Yes. I sound like Sally Field. <laughs> I you like really me. like me. You really <laughs> yeah. like me. Yeah. And, I, and that's when my breakthrough started happening. And so, and when you do that type of breakthrough, there are improvements that you, I didn't know that I could make. My mind has opened up to so many different things. Good. And so, it's okay now. It's okay. And it's just, and I yeah. just want people out there to know, everybody's not gonna like you, and it's okay. Absolutely. Don't let people stop you from mm -hmm. growing and being who you are as a woman. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah. let nobody break your spirit. Don't right. break, you know, because right. you know that first season, oh, Garcelle, oh. it was bad. We, oh my God. We've gone through it literally where you question, well, I talk too much, okay? <laughs> then I'm gonna be, right. I'm gonna be aware and not talk enough. Why that bitch don't talk? Okay, well, <laughs> okay. well then I'll try. I mean, there's right. so many things and in so many areas from love mm -hmm. to friendships. I mean, I think spe especially as women, we go through so many phases in our lives where yes. we're trying to just we be accepted. We want to please, yes. We want to be ple we want to please, we want people to like us, yes. we want guys to like us, yeah. we want girls in school to like us, to think we're cool. I mean, this is a thread that is common through the, our entire lives. Entire lives. And, entire as, and lives. being it's women of color, it's, it's even worse, I yes. believe, because it's like- We have to prove ourselves You put us on a stage and a platform, and now we represent a certain, um, image, not that we're speaking for people, but we mm -hmm. represent a certain image, yeah. and people want us to be a certain type of way, and you're still, you know, finding out who you are. I don't care how old you get. Right. You're still trying to find out who you are yes. as a person, and grow, and you're learn. You're always evolving yeah. and changing. Absolutely, and I feel like for me, somebody said to me, uh, somebody said on a blog about housewives, they were like, she doesn't bring out her hood you know, on Housewives. And it's like, I'm not playing, I'm playing me. I'm not playing you. Yes. So you may want me to be a certain way, but this is who I am. And I am done pretending to be something for what other people want me to be. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I am truly going to be me, whether you like it or not. And I think as women, that's what we have to stop doing, is just truly be ourselves, truly be open and, and hopefully inspire other women. And we can't yeah. please everybody. Guys, this is our one life. This is not a rehearsal. To we don't get this a do-over. This is it, and how do you want to show up? And I want to say that this is not just for women that's in the entertainment no, industry. Anything. No, This is in any anything. aspect. If you're a barista at, at Starbucks, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If you're a nurse at the hospital, if you're a teacher. If you're in a group of friends that just acts one way and maybe you don't act exactly like them and they say a comment like that, right. oh, you didn't bring out your hood, no, I'm being me, not right. the stereotype of what you believe I should be. Thank you. So there's also that. Yeah. And sometimes you can learn from other women when you hang around different. I learn so much from you ladies. I really, really do. I still don't like wear heels, but every now and then. <laughs> but that's authentically who you are. And I have to say. Yeah, we gotta be authentic. Yo, let's be honest. The moment that you had these conversations with yourself, Mm -hmm. and you chose to authentically be who you are, mm -hmm. authentically love who you are, mm -hmm. and authentically do what you love to do, did doors open up for you? Yes. Girl. Let me tell you, I believe that God has a destiny for each and every one of us, and we try to fight off the yes. God-given gifts, personalities, character traits that God has given us, you and we it. fight those off, right? And it's not until we say, God, this is who you made me to be. Use me and allow me to do what I'm right. supposed to do, that then all of a sudden, the doors open up. You stop Absolutely. fighting. I used to always say, what is my purpose? What mm -hmm. is my purpose? Like, figuring out what it is. And I think for me, it really is, I hope I inspire, even if it's just one girl, yeah. one little girl. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's why we're here. And you've done so, so much learn and more grow. than that. Thank you, you are doing Bravo. so much more than we that. We all are. Okay, I needed Ladies. that. Let's take a deep breath yes, on I that did one. one, two.